Oh, well, hello there. Everything fine? Everybody doing okay? Well, uh, my name is Sophia, like the introducer introduced. Okay, and my story starts when I was eight. When I was eight, I realized there was something wrong with the world. You know, like, you hear it around there, but you don't really know what it is. That's why when I was 10, I realized that I really did not know what was wrong with the world. You know, I heard about it, but didn't know what was wrong. When I then I turned 12, I realized that we were the reason there was something wrong with the world. And now I'm 16, and I finally found that there is something, exactly something, that we can do to make this world a better place. And this is not going to be just one of those talks, yes, we have to help each other, yes, 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 yes. The truth is, everything starts from the inside, like she said, to encourage. So how I learned this was not only through my everyday life, which, well, school and friendships and all those inconvenience. Well, also through a school project, which is MUN, Model United Nations. So it's basically an organization within schools worldwide. And basically what people do is they create small groups, meet once, twice a week, and uh, rehearse and get ready for then forums that will be held all over the world, Paris, Thailand, China, America, anywhere. And these forums, people like my age, people even younger students, get to work together like real diplomats, all fancy, you know, suit and tie and everything. And, and they get there and they talk like diplomats and solve problems like diplomats. They work like the UN. They try to fix the world. Well, that's when I realized that there's so much stuff out there, so much that we actually do not know anything about. Really, even the most educated adults don't know everything that's going on around there. The problem is that now we live in a world where we are so interconnected, everybody gets to reach out, so why are we not taking that opportunity? Basically, this school project was going on, has been in my school for a few years now, and uh, a friend of mine was like, hey, come help me, please, why? We should go, I, I really need help, because there was this new thing that was going, ha uh, going uh, to happen in our school. And so uh, she, she kind of dragged me into it. I really did not want to do it. I was like, well, I, I'm working hard and doing like studying and not even getting graded. What's the point of that? But I was wrong, I was totally wrong. Because after 30 minutes of the first time I went there and like listened to people, I was like, well, I love this. This is actually so great. They're, they were speaking a whole nother language. There's a whole language out there that we don't know and it's how people communicate at higher levels. Okay, so that's when I realized that I wanted to participate. So I started going, I attended after school meetings and in school meetings and you know, debated, worked with other people and now it's been two years and I'm kind of ahead of it. And so, and what's going on now is like in my school, we get together and we're gonna go, be going to Paris soon. And we're gonna go there, suit and tie and everybody really elegant and fancy and meet people from all over the world, all over the universe and just try to interact with people, learn what they have to say, learn what we have to say and learn how to solve problems because there is so much out there that we don't know of. You know, it, we have to raise awareness of what's going on in the world but it's not just something you listen and then you walk out and you forget, okay? The pro that's the problem, that's the point. Right now, I'm here and all I'm thinking about is how to not freak out and make a fool of myself and you're just sitting there and you're probably just saying, oh, when is she gonna shut up, come on, like, leave. And the problem is that, the problem is that our world right now is much bigger than it used to be. It's much more extensive and expands, expanded and everything is much more interconnected. So why are we not taking the opportunities to make the most out of that, you know? Everybody's just thinking about their grocery list or the test they're gonna have on Monday or what grade they just got. That's not the point of it anymore. We have now become citizens of the world, you know? There's no more excuses like, I'm too old for that, too young for that, and too far away. No, it, you know, distances don't even exist anymore. With the communication we have now, distances have gone poof, you know? exploited, not there anymore. So why, why are we not making the most of the opportunities we have been given, you know? So out of this MUN project, I actually learned that there is so much out there. There really is, and we have to, first of all, be aware of these things, you know, like gobble up all the knowledge. I learned so much and I keep on learning 
And even though like, I kind of sometimes direct the debates, I find myself in the position where I, where I have to teach the younger students and I'm like, oh, I don't really know that. Let me check that up. Let me find out more, you know, because everything is just so progressive. There is so much information out there. And then you have to learn how to communicate with each other, but for real. Half of the adults in here don't know how to communicate with each other, and the other half don't accept the people they're communicating with. So what is the point? What, what is going on? And so we, the youth, have to learn how to do it. We have to kind of fix what you guys kind of messed up. No offense. So... <laughs> um, so the point is, this is where it starts, but the adults have to help us, and the kids have to really be inspired. After raising awareness, after having learned how to communicate with people, then we don't only grow as a community, we grow as people, and we actually learn something. And the more people participate, because living is participating, you know? It's not just feeling only what you feel, okay? There is so much out there, seriously, and you have so many possibilities to go out there, but you're just wasting them. The moment we forget, we become ignorant, selfish people, and we just think about ourselves only. That is not the point. That is not the point anymore. There are no more excuses for that. I mean, I could understand medieval people just going, oh, all I care about is me becoming a pope or whatever. No, not that anymore, because you can't just think about yourself now. You can't just do that. And I'm not just thinking about friendship as in me and him and him and me. You know, it's just gonna be everybody. We live in such a big world, but we can reach on every single side of that word, world. It's not made of sides because it's, oh, well, whatever. You know, so the point is, it's, my brother would say, either go big or go home. So the truth is that. It's as easy as that. It's as simple. So it's better to get down and actually get digging and start to do something to fix this world and stop being so selfish. Wow. <laughs> big round of applause.